This video is going to go over filling in the title block in the Inventor drawing. So most of this information actually comes from the part file. So I'm going to open that and then go to the iProperties. So under Summary, the title fills in the title in the title block. So Guide Block. Guide Block. The author is who modeled it. The subject field I have mapped to the material, so maybe 6061. And then under the project tab, the part number is the part number. So I'll give it a number. And the description is used in the bill of material or the parts list when we get to doing assemblies um, and full sets of drawings. So it's usually the same as the title. So I can pull that in and say OK. Close it and save it. And you can see that now the title block is filled in. Let's put the modeled, the title, the drawing number, material. But the scale is still empty, and the drawn by for the drawing are, are blank. So for the scale, let's say I forgot what scale I had. I can double click on my view and see what scale it is. So now I can go in over here to the ANSI large, the title block, click on the plus sign, and then double click on the field text. And I can scroll down to scale and put in my two to one. So I still need to get that drawn by. So that's actually on the I properties of the drawing. So I can now go to I properties here, go to status, and put in my information there. And now that's going to put in that drawn by. If I want the date here, I can go back to the I properties, turn on that date, and there we go. So I hope that helps with this. So see you next video.